Hello everyone and welcome to Mr. Sar's Music Zone and I am Mr. Sar. I just want to welcome you to this space and thank you all for who have been supporting this far. I see 158 or more of you. Um, thank you for the support. Um, share with persons that you think may benefit from this type of content or would want to, you know, impact their musical journey through this channel so i appreciate that support so i want to really welcome you to this christmas countdown special and um the thought came about you know it's christmas is it's one of my favorite time of the year um i don't know for some reason there's so much camaraderie there's so much more care there's so much more fellowship um at this time and i just love the music i just love the lights i just love you know everything the overproduction of it but um, on this particular day I have felt led to speak about um, music um, pursuits in music aspirations admonitions if you will um, and this came as a result of an exchange I had with some students um, in a, an assessment setting and I really want to encourage persons who are pursuing music as a career path you are not making a mistake there is much worth in music and in your pursuit if your passion is music whether um, vocal or instrumental or if your passion is just I mean technical um, things uh, behind a soundboard a DJ um, turns out if your passion is also writing for um, people to sing or writing for plays etc go for it you can do it in music and I really want to zone in to persons who are perhaps studying now I know that there are some situations where um, you're from humble settings and you may feel a little bit um, intimidated by others around because of their technical competencies I want to encourage you do not give up because you always have different levels to everything in life I mean if, if, if you are at a particular stage there's gonna be somebody a bit higher than you or even lower than, than you so your role as a student first is to learn what you can the second thing is that to use things or people that are around you to motivate you if they are, 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 are more technical if they're more learned um, approach them you know how do you do this how can I go about this and there's no there's no shame in asking a lot of times you may be you know be shy and they say okay um, this person will never help me but go ahead you know I mean, you have to go out there launch out in the day especially if you're training to be an educator you have to ask questions if, if the answer is no then fine go another road that's why we have differentiated methods go around I mean we have the world wide web at our fingertips you can jump online plug in something on YouTube easily um, if it's chord, uh, chord progressions, if it's learning how to conduct something, you can do that. So do not feel intimidated. I don't feel that you are less than. The point is that you have a placement in whatever institution that you are. So you've already won. A lot of persons cannot be in the position that you are. I would love for the opportunity to be in the position that you are and because of circumstances they cannot so you have this opportunity make use of it make use of it wisely and learn all you can yes the work will be hard it's, it's school you study you have to do assessments you have to do assignments and what I tell people all the time is that music education or education in general it's not hard to is when you have the things that are stacked up usually from procrastination 
or you know you have so many things you're not prioritizing your time properly so that's why it's important for you to set your own timetable set up your schedule set up your rehearsal schedule set up your studying schedule and all of these things so you keep yourself accountable at all times to do that and the next thing I want to encourage you is that a lot of things that you will learn in college now most of it perhaps you would not be able to apply it because you're not in a practical setting so most of this information will come later so what you want to do is ensure that pedagogical concepts theoretical content um, technical competencies make sure you have those solid as you can be take any little time to practice work within a small group try to make your peers assess you or even ask some of the lecturers to help you um, am i doing this correctly can you look at this video for me what do you think can you listen to this what do you think because it's important that we have critique notice i said critique and not bad mind so it, it, uh, well bad mind is probably a strong one but we critique i will get some feedback from others and be honest if you're giving feedback to someone be honest i mean if there are parameters set if there's a rubric stated then you go accordingly don't say oh, but you did not play like this, like this and so and so if there's a rubric stick to it the next thing i want to encourage students is that most of your teachers uh, most of your lecturers they have done it already they've done their degrees already they have the content already they know to apply this in, in the situations all the time so do not go to class or do not approach your classes as an empty slate you are not an empty slate you have the cognitive competence to understand what their core course requirement is what you need to do for yourself access your course already access what you need to do for your assignments, access your rubrics so you are following accordingly. And do not sit down and wait and say, well, this our sir, don't come class. So that's it. And if you don't take up the onus to read over, to go into the course and say, okay, this is what I'm supposed to be doing at this time, or this course is supposed to be helping me to do this. So how do I understand? How do I get myself applying to this so you have to do that you're responsible for your learning I mean you have the web you have your course outline do not sit down like a possum a per per person who more possums but this play dead and you, you know everything there's an excuse to, to why you didn't get this done you have to wake up the world is moving at a very fast pace so I want to encourage you to just do all that you can do and know the technical um, age that we're in with AI and a lot of things are happening around but at the same time you still have to make sure that your foundation is sure music education what you have as basic principles and concepts it revolves right throughout Elements of music go right throughout. Chord progressions and circular fifths, it goes right throughout. Knowing your keys, when your scales and arpeggios, that goes right throughout. So you have to know what is important for you to have as foundation. Does it make sense that you're at a level three course and you're still at pre level one thinking? So I, 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 I really want to encourage persons and you know, I found uh, and I can share some of my own personal experiences that I, I studied in a space where I had no friends. I knew no one in the space. Uh, I was an inter international student, I was experiencing snow for the first time and I just had to get with it. I was in a classroom 
with its colors from Venezuela, Bulgaria, um, Switzerland, um, Europe, England, all of these places that they had pre-trained knowledge with music. So like theory courses, they were way ahead of me, almost like years. So I saw that and I said, okay, right now I have to get with my book as close as I can. And I went and applied myself. So I cannot be left behind. Too hard for me to come that far and not meet my goals. So I want to encourage persons who are aspiring to be musicians or music, music educators, go for it. If it's something that you love, and if it's something that you see that you're good at, then you go for it and make something of it for yourself. Um, there's no shame. I mean, if you're just doing it for leisure, that's okay as well, but it's still applicable. Uh, the same concepts going around and once you have these foundational principles then you can get into the musicality so for you to understand it's just, just like language once you understand how to create sentences and you can have a conversation you can laugh and, and, and you can cry you can you can be sad all of these things same thing for music you just have to apply it yourself so to encourage those who are studying for it. Be encouraged. Sky's the limit. Learn all you can. Because you never know when you want to pull on these things. Alright. Help others. I mean collaboration is a big thing now in this age. So you can just go out there and work with others. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to ask persons to if I give you feedback on what you're doing. Don't be afraid to do that. And you know a lot of these things that are you know, personal is for your own development. So for your own professional development. So I really want to encourage you out there in this particular day that those who are studying all the very best to you. Learn all they can, do all they can, um, impart all they can. <clears throat> I mean if you can collaborate and work good. Music education will Take care of you. Promise. Good, good.